Hello, I'm Joe Wren. The Indiana University Media School announced the merger of its student media organizations. The Indiana Daily Student, IU Student Television, and WIUX Radio will operate with shared business operations effective immediately. The plan also includes eliminating the weekly IDS print newspaper starting in the spring semester. Leaders from each organization met with the media school dean, David Tolchinsky, today. He did not immediately respond to our interview request. In a press release, he said the merger would amplify student storytelling and generate more revenue for the organizations. Monroe County residents will see an income tax increase during next year's tax season. County Council passed a new ordinance that increases taxes to fund a new county jail. The council voted in favor 5 to 1. It's a 0.175% income tax increase. Now, President Trent Deckard says that while there is a time and place for a wait and see approach, this issue is in dire need of action and forward progress. Consultants who recommended the rate increase estimate construction of a new justice facility could cost around $152 million. And Pulitzer-winning reporter Carl Bernstein spoke on a panel hosted by the IU Media School about reporting in a polarized election landscape. Bernstein spoke about mainstream journalism's difficulty covering Donald Trump's mental state and falsehoods, as well as its shortcomings reporting on President Joe Biden. Bernstein joined IU this year as a journalist in residence and will come to the university for several public discussions. Here's a quick check of the weather forecast for tonight. Clear conditions, lows down to 48 degrees. In the five-day forecast, tomorrow we'll see sunny conditions, highs in the mid-70s, mostly sunny on Saturday, highs up to 79 degrees. We have more online. It's all at WTIUnews.org. Have a great night.